Hey, what's up guys? This is Chris here with Rock Rep Fitness and I'm here to talk to you about um, the mistakes that you are making that are killing your gains in the gym. Um, so pretty much I just comprised a very short list of some common mistakes that I see with my clients and that I used to make for myself. Um, so I'm just going to go through all these really briefly, just kind of explain um, what you might be doing that might be uh, preventing you from progressing in the gym. So first off, um, and this is going to be my go-to, is diet. Um, a lot of people, especially that are trying to get bigger um, or even stronger, they don't eat nearly enough. And my motto is that if you think that you're eating enough, you probably aren't, so eat some more. Um, and this doesn't mean gorge yourself with a bunch of fatty foods, you know, eat healthy, eat every two and a half to three hours, you know, keep the calories coming in. Uh, and that's the biggest problem I see with a lot of people that come to me with the goal of getting bigger is like, oh yeah, I want to look like a bodybuilder, blah, blah, blah. Okay, well, what do you eat? Oh, well, I have a granola bar for breakfast, and then I usually have like some kind of like fish tacos or something for dinner. It's just like, okay, well, that's not enough. Like, you need to you need to eat in order to grow. Um, next up, water intake. Um, a lot of people kind of overlook this one, thinking that's not really that important. But water is probably one of the most important because um, water. Uh, number one, water is how you're going to get waste out of your body. And number two, water helps um, in the in the structure of protein and glycogen, which if you aren't really familiar with those two, you know what they, you've heard of them, but you don't really know how they, they are involved with your gains. Um, pretty much protein, um, you, I'm sure you've heard of protein synthesis. It's pretty much the process of where you're starting to rebuild muscle after you've broken it down during workout. Glycogen is um, your energy source as you're working out. So uh, water helps uh, with the structure of those. That's, that's why water is detrimental. That's why you always need to go into the gym hydrated. You always need to be hydrated after you leave the gym uh, because that's when your body is needing that stuff to be made. So um, and another thing is uh, your muscles are primarily uh, made up of water. So if you get dehydrated, uh, your muscles aren't going to contract properly. Um, you're going to lose muscle tone you're, and your muscles are going to look kind of funny um, if you're not staying hydrated and drinking enough water. Um, next up, rest. And a lot of people kind of think like, oh yeah, I sleep, um, you know, but making sure now resting what I'm talking about here is not just uh, are you sleeping at night resting is are you taking the appropriate rest days um, are you are you taking the steps pretty much to avoid overtraining and so and what I mean by overtraining is just you you've gotten to the point to where your body cannot go anymore you're not resting you're not eating right and your body just can't have it and you know some side effects of that is you pretty much will just feel sick um, you will um, you'll have uh, trouble sleeping. You'll notice that you'll get sick, like with cold or flu-like symptoms, a lot more easily. Um, and you'll struggle with all kinds of things if you're overtraining. So we want to stay away from that. Um, but yeah, so with rest, I don't. I'm not just referring to sleeping. Like yes, you need to get a good night's rest before you're heading to the gym. But mainly, what I'm talking about is knowing how to um, insert your rest days. To where they're they're coinciding with your training. So um, the best way that I can tell, and this is a generalized, you know, I I try to make this different for particular clients based on how they're training, how they're progressing. But uh, the best generalized rule that I can give to you is listen to your body. If your body's saying, uh, I don't really think um, that you know uh, going to the gym today by might be uh, might not be the best idea to do so listen to your body now don't get that confused with oh I'm t too tired to go to the gym like that's that's not an excuse but listen to your body if you're too sore if you feel very very fatigued like more than usual listen to your body signs you're, it's not going to steer you wrong so uh, make sure you're getting plenty of rest putting rest days in make sure you're deloading sometimes in the weight room and all that good stuff and don't um, don't be afraid to do cardio uh, mainly, this is for the guys. Don't be afraid to do cardio. Uh, I do it twice a week, 
And uh, there's no problem with that. You know, that's active recovery. Um, and uh, last thing I want to talk about that I see that's a pretty common uh, mistake that people are making. They're wondering why they're not gaining. Um, it has to do with their training. Now, this one's kind of obvious uh, because a lot of people might not know how to train for what they're trying to do. They just kind of go off what their high school coach taught them which usually looks something like bench, incline bench, squat, power clean, and maybe overhead squat. If you had a coach that, I don't know, that's another, that's another topic. But so anyways, um, a lot of people don't really understand how to train for what they're trying to accomplish. And that is obviously very detrimental to what you're trying to do. So it's very important to look at how you're training. If you're plateauing or you're stuck and you don't know what to do, just start by making simple changes. Start by adding sets, um, changing your rep count, changing your, your negative and your positives. Um, you know, change the order of your workouts and make sure that you understand the phases of training. There's endurance, there's strength, and there's hypertrophy. Endurance training is going to be usually 15 reps, 30 seconds rest. Strength training is going to be anywhere from four to six reps with, excuse me, two to five minutes rest and hypertrophy is, can be anywhere from 10 to, or 8 to 12 with about 45 to 60 seconds rest and those rest times are detrimental that you are hitting those because if not like if you're trying to train for hypertrophy and you're resting two minutes in between your sets you are not pumping all the blood and uh, like let's say you're doing bicep curls and you rest a minute by the time you've rested, or you rest two minutes, excuse me, and by the time you've rested that two minutes, all that blood that you just pumped from the previous set, you know, it's flushed out. So you're going to have a very hard time attaining a pump, which is what you need to grow. Um, so that's just something very, very important to make sure you pay attention to is know what you're training for and know how to train it. And if you don't know, that's what people like me are here for. Ask us. You can always get in contact with me at rockretfitness at hotmail.com with any fitness questions you might have. You can also check out my website at www.rockretfit.com. We're on Instagram. Put that right here. Uh, also, our um, my mind just went blank. Also, our merchandise is now up online. We don't have this limit slit. Uh, limit limitless shirt anymore but we have a lot of really cool stuff we have iphone cases tanks t-shirts baseball tees gym bags you name it we got it um and that link is right here that'll also be in the description so make sure to check us out uh thank you all for watching stay healthy and god bless